In the last episode we had a problem. So if I go to my application, choose New York, choose pickup time to be today, choose drop off time to be 29th, ok, filter vehicles, we go right here, we get all this data, this is great. But now if I refresh the page or if the user of our page refreshes the page, we get a whole lot of errors. We are getting those errors because now our store is cleared and now we don't have any dates. So this is a problem for us. In this episode we are going to quickly try to resolve that problem and as you will see it will not be that hard at all. Ok, so our goal here is to persist our dates somehow. Now we can do this in various ways, one of those would be to actually just save the dates to our database, but we are not going to be doing that, we are going to be doing something much simpler and more readily available because most of, br most of the browsers uh, support something called local storage. So we are going to use that to actually persist our dates. So, uh, let's just go to our code editor and go to our store right here and as you can see we are setting the dates uh, right here. So we are setting them to be something in our store. Now we can just use this and one, when we are committing our pickup date we are also going to save that date to the local storage. Now local storage is not going to be cleared once the page is refreshed. Uh, think of it like um, a JavaScript version of cookies. So let's just do something like this local storage set item and our item is going to be called pickup and uh, it's going to have a value of date dot value, right? Uh, and the same thing for the drop off. Great. Save this and let's just see how this works. So now we are on our page, we choose New York. We choose pickup time to be today, ok, drop of time 29th, ok, filter vehicles, more details, great. Now of course if I refresh this we are still getting errors, but if we go to application and then local storage, as you can see we have drop of date right here and I can refresh it however many times I want, I have those dates. Uh, saved right here. So this is great. Now we just need to write some code to uh, tell view okay if the dates in the store do not exist then use the dates that we have in our local storage and that should be pretty easy. So we are actually going to do, uh, do it in two ways. I'm going to show you two ways how you can do that. One is going to be uh, this way where, we'll, where we will not save those dates in the local storage and uh, the other way is going to be when we save the dates to the local storage so that we can use them later. Ok, so first of all, as you can see we have these dates right here. Start date, end date. Ok, so what we want to do here is uh, we want to say to view if there is a uh, a pickup date in our store then use it. So to do that we are just going to copy this, right, put this sign right here. So this means something like if a pickup date in the store exists. If it exists then use this date time for me ISO get the date from the store and everything is great. But if it doesn't exist then do the same thing but instead of using the date from our store, we are going to use the date from our local storage. And that should be something like a local storage get item and the item right here is pickup. Ok, so the same thing we are going to do for the end date. So let's just copy this out, paste it right here, so if end date exists this would be fine, if it doesn't exist we are just going to use this right here and take 
drop off from our local storage and actually this should be it right so if I refresh this I still get everything right this still works I can refresh it how am however many times I want great so I said I'm going to show you two ways so this is the first way okay now we are going to revert this code and I'm going to show you the uh, I'm going to show you another way okay so we are back where we started of course if we go right here we are getting errors great well not great we are getting errors so that's never great uh, now we are going to do this but we are not going to touch the dates at all but we want to save the dates from the local storage into our store instead of just getting them from the store right here so to do that we are going to go to our before mount method and I'm going to say something like if so if this dot store dot getters pick update pick update is equal to empty string so if we get nothing in our store then do something and that something would will be uh, the same thing that we have in this reservation form so remember in the reservation form we are setting our dates and we are setting them with this method right here so set the date and then we are dispatching those dates to the store so I'm just going to copy this out paste it right here and then <clears throat> so set dates value type okay we can't use value type right here but we can do something like value is going to be local storage get item uh, pickup and the type is going to be pickup so type I don't know why I delete that pickup right so before this uh, component is mounted we are going to che check if the uh, pick update exists if it doesn't exist then we are going to set that date into our store so in that way we don't have to change that this code at all because those dates will actually be in our store so I think this is a little bit better way of doing things because we want to be consistent with our store so we want to get everything from it okay so this is for the pickup date and of course for the drop of date uh, it will be the same so except this will be drop of date if it's equal to nothing then drop off and the type is drop off and I think that's it right save it let's check it out as you can see it already works if I refresh it should still be working we are not getting errors and that's about it okay so remember everything we did here will be available for you on github the link will be in the description below and as always thank you guys for watching and i will see you in the next one